This is Duke University. I really like the idea of um, putting the cultural, um, sociocultural identity sort of mapped, map, mapping it onto the pragmatic politics of capital pursuit and state power, etc. And following up on that, um, I'm really interested in the fate of uh, Amos because you've talked a little bit about uh, the merchant class and how they kind of uh, moved out with the networks uh, and using those networks in, in the, in the, uh, in the post-partition period. But what happens to Amos? Because Amos seems to be, they, they seem to be um, the, the people of the old world, of the post Nadir Shah uh, world of Indo-Persia, where you know, Persian is still the sort of prestigious language of uh, elite classes. And there's this, uh, the connection to Sindh state making is very strong. Mm -hmm. So they, uh, what did they have to give up to become sort of to staff the, you know, uh, colonial offices of, of East uh, India Company? Also, um, what, so the, what is the longer sort of trajectory of their story? Mm -hmm. And what the second question would be uh, that, what, so what, the Sindhs in Pakistan today, if we are thinking of Sindh identity as a perpetuation of this pursuit of capital and state power, what is the connection to Pakistani state making today? All right, uh, let, me, let me first uh, answer the last question. Uh, and that is very little connection. Uh, because the diaspora Sindhis that I've been largely talking about here, of course, left Pakistan and don't exist in Pakistan any longer. The only uh, quote unquote Hindus by and large, who stayed, there are uh, a few families who have stayed, and I occasionally run into people uh, from those families who are merchants or, or amals, but most of the people who stayed were from the untouchable class, castes, Dalits. You know, Karachi's entire sanitation department is in fact staffed by untouchables. Uh, people who, people, you know, call Hindus, <laughs> uh, but whether or not Hindus would consider them Hindus is another issue altogether. So there isn't a lot of uh, uh, con uh, connection, if you will, between the modern Pakistani state and this issue of the Amuls, because these individuals left, by and large, after partition. Uh, and now to follow up on the first part of your question. Uh, what happened to them when they left, and how did they make that transition from a sort of uh, a, a, a a Persianate literati, if you will, that's very common to this region, um, to the colonial state. Well, they did two things. One, uh, they became fluent in Nosk. <laughs> uh, and two, they became fluent in English. And when partition came around, uh, they made use of that fluency to take up government positions in India, where one of the key national languages is still English. Some of them did go into business, uh, but uh, a lot of them did not. A lot of them went uh, also into certain kinds of politics. Uh, for example, one of the areas which I started first learning about Sindhis was through my work on right-wing Hindu nationalists. And Maya Kodani is a member of the, of the BJP, or the Hindu Nationalist Party. So a lot of them went into politics in some cases, as well as into government service. Um, so they replicated in many ways the kinds of uh, professions uh, that they in fact uh, had in the colonial period. Again, there's a kind of a perpetuation, if you will. This is part of what this uh, talk is about. Uh, how are they identifying themselves? How do they identify themselves as Sindhi? Or how are they identifying themselves as Indian? That's sort of what's at stake in this, this whole history is how are they going to identify themselves? And are they going to continue identifying themselves as Sindhis, as they have in the past, or are they just going to be Indians? Uh, and you do see uh, you know, many Sindhis, as I said, um, sort of shifting that way. Uh, and again, their involvement in various Hindu nationalist organizations, I think, is a reflection of that fact, and the fact they are giving up their language and appropriating Hindi and other languages of that sort. 